Good morning. Just woke up to some disturbing news that I now have to go and figure out what the heck's going on. A bridge in Milford on Interstate 95 got hit last night. It's kind of a nightmare for me waking up and hearing something like that. The truck driver passed away. He actually, I guess, got launched from his truck and died shortly after. Um, getting in contact with my office, I'm seeing what's going on and what exactly happened. It's always a scary thing to have somebody strike a bridge. We meticulously post the vertical clearances and remeasure the clearances every time that we're out there. Every bridge is inspected every other year and we have a vertical clearance sheet where we measure vertical and horizontal clearances to make sure that um, the bridges are posted properly. I'm gonna go to the gym and get some Wi-Fi and then I'm gonna have to figure this out. What the heck happened? So I just talked to my boss, he said it's all good. Uh, I did inspect it back in January. We did have the vertical clearance signs posted luckily and we'll be able to uh, figure out what happened and try to make sure it doesn't happen again. Pictures are pretty gruesome. The dump truck driver actually had the back of his bed raised when he went under the bridge. Um, I'll show you guys some photos. So yeah, pretty grim. Flip the whole truck bed right over. Uh, that's a photo of the sign that's well above the bottom of the girders that got hit. Gruesome scene. Closed down the highway for a couple hours. So this is the clearance diagram for the southbound side. You can actually see this is the minimum clearance on the entire bridge is 14.3. All these locations along girder G7 have gotten hit before. And so we mark the clearance at all those locations and we have it posted for 14 feet ahead of the bridge. Um, but the truck actually hit on the northbound side, which is much higher. The minimum's 15.6. All right, it's Friday night. We're letting loose a little bit. We finished night work. We're pretty much nocturnal, feeling like a vampire. We're out here hanging out with some friends. Hi. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, Roxy. Hey. <laughs> this is Michelle's. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, you know. Got plenty of storage. Um, Going to Milford though tomorrow. Gonna go check out that bridge that got hit and show you guys around a really cool rigid frame. We'll talk about what a rigid frame is. And then um, we'll go see like a really old stone arch that's been around. Uh, Milford's known for their quarries and their granite and show you some old granite. All right, see you tomorrow. Super rainy night here in Connecticut. So she goes to the stick, he give it a treat. So she comes to the stick, she touches it, you click. But yeah, just a little bit of training just to kind of try to stimulate her a little bit and get her to follow direction, you know. Wow, impressive. One more. Can I get the shot? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. So I ordered her a new cat backpack today. All right, so it's by Pet Ami. It was like 38 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. 
So we're talking backpack. <laughs> For a cat. That pops out just like that. I guess I read a bunch of reviews where a bunch of them came. Susie's trying to get into her treats behind you. Um, but a bunch of reviews that said that they stunk a lot when they get them out. They got them out of the back. Susie, I gotta put away the treats. Okay. Good girl. Pet Emmy backpack. What do you think, Suze? Maybe a little catnip in there or what? Yeah, let's do catnip. All right, so we really only got like the high grade catnip. Okay, $28 a pound. She's in. Okay. You gonna get in? Hey, no, it's okay. Come here. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. I'm just gonna, hey. Good girl. Good girl. So now she's purring a little bit. This kind of gives her a little bit of a direction. It gives her a little bit of a focus and I think she appreciates that. Good morning, everybody. Make sure I got my keys. We are out. Going to Milford today to go check out a couple bridges, including the one that got hit last week. Um, they're doing an official inspection, I'm sure, through the state, but I'm just gonna go and check it out from a distance at least. I just kinda wanna see what it looks like basically at this point. Um, but yeah, there's actually a couple cool bridges down in Milford. And we'll go check them out. We made it to downtown Milford. It's a gorgeous day. This is the Jefferson Bridge from 1934. It's a concrete arch. Definitely got some efflorescence issues going on, but besides that, it looks pretty nice. All right, we're gonna keep this moving, go check out a nice old stone arch. So this is a really good example of red granite that has traditionally came out of Milford. Back in the 1800s, it was used for a ton of different projects, including like the Statue of Liberty pedestal and when they were building the George Washington Bridge which is in New York. This is a classic stone masonry arch. Uh, works in compression. It forces the loads to get transferred horizontally and then it gets transferred into the abutments from there. This is a local railroad bridge. It also goes over this river downtown. Just want to show you guys. So that's posted for 12 foot 2 clearance which is pretty low, but you know, you're not gonna see a lot of trucks coming down these local roads anyway. But you can see the scrapes here at the underside of the bottom flanges. People are still going under this bridge and hitting it. We'll call out any gouges and the state will come and fix them. They'll actually ground them out and paint them over. Judging by how much this bridge is getting hit, you also probably wanna lower the clearance just to make sure that people don't push it and damage the bridge. So we're just bombing around Milford a little bit. This is a steel rigid frame where the superstructure and the substructure are rigidly connected at the top. It allows for the continuous transfer of all the different forces and the moments. This type of design allows for a really high clearance in the middle because you have a really low moment at mid-span. All right, we're on Quarry Road. Gonna go check out that bridge that got hit last week. I was out here inspecting this in January. Was hoping to bring Susie with me today, but 
I'll have a little inspection buddy out here with me, hopefully next week. All right, so we're out here. That's where the bridge got hit. You can see where the sign was attached. And it looks like they already have some paint going on the girder, so they probably already fixed it when they had it all closed. But yeah, the sign was attached right there to the outside of the parapet. That's the bottom flange with a little bit of paint on it. That's where the dump truck hit the bridge. They probably were already out here. They probably already fixed it. But yeah, thanks for coming out to Milford with me today. It was a fun little morning. I'm actually thinking about making some trips. I'd like to get some cool footage. So maybe bombing out to either Toronto or Montreal. Uh, maybe going up to Boston or going to Philly. Kind of doing some regional stuff. Please like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be working on kind of figuring out how to describe these bridges better to you guys. But it's a bit of a process and figure I'll get better as we go. And um, if you guys have any anything specific that you want me to talk about, uh, you can write it in the comments below and I'll definitely take them into consideration. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.